Every day, scientists unlock the mysteries of the natural world by exploring the unknown and making new discoveries. In June 2008, a group of teens from Chicago and New York City teamed up with a group of paleontologists traveling to Tanzania to learn about evolution, paleontology, Tanzanian culture, and what it is like to work as a scientist in the field. While the scientists dug for fossils in Tanzania, the kids performed a virtual fossil excavation of their own in Teen Second Life. As they worked, the teens and paleontologists communicated regularly by satellite phone, and every evening the paleontologists uploaded video for the kids to watch. Join me as we explore what happened on the ground in Tanzania and as we learn what living and working in the field is like for paleontologists. This is the Ruhuhu Basin, located in the southwestern part of Tanzania. It is of interest to paleontologists because it preserves a rich fossil record dating back to about 260 to 240 million years ago. The two rock units in the Ruhuhu Basin that are of greatest interest to the team are the Usili Formation and the Manda Formation. Both formations have yielded important new species of animals that are ancestors of dinosaurs, crocodiles and mammals. As the scientists journey into the field, paved roads quickly give way to the dirt roads leading out to small villages where they will camp. In each village, the scientists meet with the village chairman and ask permission to stay in town. The team usually camps near schoolhouses because they provide convenient open spaces for their tents, vehicles and supplies, as well as access to water and toilets. As they set up camp, they are often quite a spectacle for the villagers. Children are an omnipresent part of the team's time in Tanzania, always curiously watching their activities. Knowing this, the scientists brought gifts for the kids in the villages where they camped. When choosing the areas they want to explore, the scientists first study geologic maps and then they hike through the grass-covered landscape to identify new places where rocks have been uncovered by erosion and brush fires. They spend hours prospecting for fossils, sometimes finding little more than fragments of bone. Their goal is to find the most complete specimens possible, which are usually still partly embedded in the solid rock. When the paleontologists find a promising specimen, they take precautions to ensure that it gets safely back to the museum for study. To prepare the fossils for their trip, the scientists usually coat them with thin glue and then wrap them in layers of tissue and plaster to pad and stabilize them for the long journey. The paleontologists also discovered vertebrate fossils for the first time in the older Ruhuhu formation. Although most of these specimens are fragmentary, they are important evidence that the fossil record preserved in the basin extends further back in time than previously thought. As the dig comes to an end, the team is excited by the success of their trip. Their findings give them high hopes for coming back next year to retrieve specimens still left in the ground and to explore new rock formations and areas previously untouched. The paleontologists leave Tanzania to return to their families and to see what the teams participating in ID Tanzania learned about science in the virtual world. This unique project was made possible through much collaboration and teamwork. The Biodiversity Synthesis Center, a component of the Encyclopedia of Life, equipped the paleontologists with three digital video cameras and a satellite terminal in order to record their expedition and to communicate with the teams participating in iDig Tanzania on a regular basis. The Education Department of the Field Museum and Global Kids collaborated 
to create curricula for the 17 teams in New York and Chicago and to set up the virtual learning spaces in Team Second Life. All of the video and images recorded by the scientists will be incorporated into the Encyclopedia of Life to enhance the richness of fossil species pages in the future.